Good day everyone, I am Caroline Marie S. Alcala and today I'm going to discuss about different problems of watershed management and watershed protection in Davao City. So first, let us define what is watershed. A watershed is simply the geographic area through which a water flows across the land and drains into a common body of water, whether a stream, river, lake, or ocean. The watershed boundary will more or less follow the highest ridge line around the stream channels and meet at the bottom or lowest point of the land where water flows out of the watershed, the mouth of the waterway. So this is what watershed looks like. Watershed, watershed are tapped as vital sources of water supply, domestic, and irriga domestic irrigation, and industrial purposes. So, why watershed is important or why it is essential to us? Watershed, watersheds are important because it supplies our drinking water, water for agriculture and manufacturing. It also offers opportunities for recreation like canoeing and fishing and it provides habitat to numerous plants and animals. Watershed Management Watershed management is a term used to describe the process of implementing land use practices and water management practices to protect and improve the quality of the water and other natural resources within a watershed by managing the use of those land and water resources in a compre comprehensive manner. So, water, wa watershed manage management is essential because it helps to control pollution of the water and other natural resources in the watershed by identifying the different kinds of pollution present in the watershed and how those pollutants are transported and recommending ways to reduce or eliminate, eliminate those pollution sources. Watershed protection. It is protecting the lake river or stream by managing the entire watershed that drains into it. Clean, healthy, and watershed depends on an informed public or to, public to make the right decisions when it comes to the environment and actions made by the community. So a healthy watershed produces energy and supplies water for agriculture, industry, and households. Forests and wetlands help to prevent or reduce costly climate change and flooding impacts. It also manages drought, contributes to tourism, fisheries, forestry, agriculture, and mining industries. We can also protect our watersheds by simply disposing our household waste properly, especially those harmful chemical products. So these are the ways to keep our watershed healthy and clean. Conserve water every day, take shorter showers, fix leaks and turn off the water when not in use. Don't pour toxic household, ke household chemicals down the drain. Take them to a hazardous waste center. Use hardy plants that require little or no watering, fertilizers or pesticides in your yard. Do not overapply fertilizers. Consider also consider using organic or slow release fertilizers instead. Recycle yard waste in a compost pile and use a mulching mower. Use surfaces like wood, brick, or gravel for decks and walkways, which allows rain to soak in and not run off. Never pour used oil or antifreeze into the storm drain or the street. Pick up, pick up after your dog and dispose of the waste in the toilet or the trash. Drive less, walk or bike. Many pollutants in our waters come, come from the exhaust and garlics. 
The Wolf City is surrounded by eight watersheds. These watersheds are natural reservoirs for the pristine potable water that has been certified as one of the world's cleanest drinking water. So, the eight watersheds of Davao region are Tuganay, Tuganay Watershed, which has an area of 18,120 hectares with two barangays. Lasang River, which has 29,132 hectares with eight barangays. Bunawan River, which has 18,328 hectares with 21 barangays. Davao Watershed, Davao River Watershed has 121,385 hectares with 91 barangays. Matina River, which has 7,879 hectares with 10 barangays. Taloma Watershed, which has 21,578 hectares with 26 barangays. Lipadas Watershed has 16,796 hectares with 19 barangays. And Sibulan River, which has 10,782 hectares with 5 barangays. With a total of 244 hectares and 182 barangays all in all. Different problems of watershed management and watershed protections in Davao region. Factors affecting watershed are environmental concerns, social concerns, and economic concerns. So environmental concerns is the problem of the environment, lands, sea, air, plants, and animals. Or it is simply the activities that affects the environment, especially the watersheds. Biodiversity loss refers to a decrease in biodiversity within a species, an ecosystem, a giving, given geographic area or earth as a whole. So biodiversity provides functioning ecosystems that supply oxygen, clean air and water, pollination of plants, pest control, wastewater treatment, and may and many ecosystem services. So deforestation. It is the permanent remo removal of trees to make room for something besides forest. This can include clearing the, the land agriculture for or grazing or using the timber for fuel, construction, and manufacturing. Deforestation is the loss of trees and the loss of trees and other vegetation can cause climate change the certification the certification soil erosion fewer crops flooding increased in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and host of problems for indigenous people Direct causes of deforestation are agric agricultural expansion, wood extraction such as logging or wood harvest for domestic domestic fuel or charcoal, and also infra infrastructure in expansion such as road building and urbanization. Next is water pollution. It occurs when harmful substa substances, often chemicals or microorganisms, contaminate a stream, river, lake, oceans, aquifer, or other body of water. Degrading water quality and rendering it to toxic, it toxic to human, humans and environment. The main water pollutants include bacteria, viruses, parasites, fertilizers, pesticides, pharmaceutical products, nitrates, phosphates, plastics, fecal waste, and even radioactive substances. These substances usually or do not always change the color of the water, meaning they are often invisible pollutants. So next is groundwater pollution. 
It occurs when man-made products such as gasoline, gasoline, oil, road salts, and chemicals get into the groundwater and cause it to become unsafe and unfit for human use. Contamination of groundwater can result in poor drinking water quality, loss of water supply, degraded surface water systems, high cleanup costs, high cost for alternative water supplies, and potential health problems. Next is social concerns. Social concerns are the human activities which deteriorates the watersheds. It includes overpopulation or population growth, poor waste management, and improper, improper agric agricultural practices. So, population growth is the increase in the number of individuals in a population or it is the increase in the number of people in a certain area or in a certain environment. Next is poor waste management is the disposal of waste in a way that has negative consequences for the environment. Waste that people dispose of can pollute the air, the land, and water resources. They affect the quality of rainwater and of water resources both above and below the ground and damage the natural systems. Next is improper agricultural practices. It is or are reducing soil porosity, increasing soil salinity and alkalinity, distributing the natural composition of nutrients in the soil. So, improper agricultural practices lead to the pollution of both soil and water. The increased use of chemicals as fertilizers and, and pesticides has distributed the natural composition of nutrients in the soil. And next is the economic concerns. Building a watershed requires a lot of cost. Watershed requires regular maintenance. So, economic concerns involves a lot of expenditures in building a watershed and it also requires a regular maintenance. So, protecting healthy watersheds can reduce capital, capital cost for water treatment plants and reduce damage to property and infrastructure due to flooding, thereby a avoiding future costs. So that's the end of my report. Thank you for listening.